brother, and welcome to another J vs. Ben. Today, because Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald is coming out today, we figured we would take on the Fantastic Beasts quiz. Except this particular Fantastic Beasts quiz is not the Fantastic Beasts movie. No. It's none other than the textbook. Yeah, so this is like... It feels like an actual quiz. It does. From school. I have the same kind of anxiety. I know. It's all of a sudden like I gotta remember a lot of facts oh about my gosh. these beasts. And so part of this for us was like, okay, this is a textbook. This isn't like, you know, how well do you know the world of Harry Potter? So we granted each other 15 minutes each to review the book. To peruse as much as possible and try and cram in as much information. Some so info. I don't know just that Just so I, you're aware. I don't think I, I don't think I remembered anything other than my frustration with the fact that the first beast listed is the Acromantula, uh -huh. and there must be 10 questions worth of information on that page. Yeah, so. It's like, how many eggs can they lay? How big are they? How big are their fangs? How many eyes do they have? It's like, this is just the first one, and I was already familiar with this animal! Right, so who knows what we're gonna come across today. Yeah, well, we don't have this for the... It's not open notes, apparently. Yeah, no, it's not. <sighs> or even open choices. Part of the way that we do our questions here is that we are given the questions, read by Derek's lovely, velvety voice, <laughs> and we have to remember basic... Just from, we do, we just don't from get, memory. So, yeah, if you're playing along at home, <laughs> and we'll put the link down in the description, uh, you will have the access to the multiple choice. We will not. Derek's just going to ask. But if we both agree that we want to hear the multiple choice and have a feeling that's going to come up a lot in this particular quiz, uh, then we can get access to it. So you can do a little blocking if you feel like you know it, but they don't. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hey, brother! Uh, we're starting off with a super easy one. Uh, question number one. What color is a snidget. I got it. Okay, well I'm impressed because I read this and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> That's a funny word. <laughs> I'm surprised that you just knew. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Gold. Uh, the correct answer is gold. Yeah! Absolutely. Heck yeah! Okay, so the reason I know this one is because the snidget is what was the original golden snitch in Quidditch. Yeah, uh, I was using... Oh. Yeah. I was using gotcha. nothing but context clues for that one. Yeah, so they used to actually try and catch the bird itself. And then it was like they were killing too many golden snidgets, snidgets and so they switched it to an actual ball. <laughs> oh my god, it's yeah. so adorable. Yeah, that is from Quidditch Through the Ages, so Ooh, double whammy on that I one. I love it. Yeah, it's like, there we go. not only did you read this textbook, but you <laughs> read the accompanying textbook. This is why Hermione's so good at school. Question two. How many heads does a rune spore have? You... Numbers are very simple to write, and you put a whole bunch of... I felt like my uh, initial stroke might have given it away, so I just wrote a bunch of nonsense scribbles. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Three! Three. The correct answer is three. Yay! It's a really creepy looking snake. But also squid. Look at you! <laughs> yeah. You conniving little... <laughs> Question three, what are alchemy eggs made of? Oh, well, I mean, these are these are just gimmies at the beginning, aren't they? Not so bad. Three, two, one. Silver. Silver is correct. Oh, right. silver! There we go. Man, these are going to get so hard. I know. The I fact know. that question two required you to know what a rune spore was. Did you guess or did you know? I know. Okay, yeah. I thought so. There's a deleted scene where you can see the one in Newt's case. Have you seen that? You... It is creepy. It yes, is huge. it is. Yeah. You're right. Oh my gosh, yeah. Anyway. Question four. Where do billywigs come from? Three, two, one. Australia? Australia! Australia is... Yes! Oh man, I'm impressed with us on that one. I'm just happy for both of us. Like, I'm almost, I almost want, I want us to do well. I know, no, absolutely. Like, my, my big concern, so, um, when we, when we get these, like, worked up before shooting, mm -hmm. Jordan, our office manager, goes through and she takes the entire thing. Right. And when she was telling us about it, it it put some fear inside of me. Right, right. I was like... It was as if you were staring down a basilisk. It was like that. And it's well, giant green eyes. I see what you did there. <gasps> they're not green, they're yellow. They're blue. <laughs> Carry on. Question five. By what name did Muggles know the Deary Call? Okay. Three, two, one. The Dodo Bird. It is the Dodo Bird. Yeah! Oh man, we are crushing this so far. Question six. 
What is the main physical difference between a crump and a Jack Russell Terrier? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. The forked tail. It has a forked tail. That is exactly yeah. correct. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Take that, quiz. Where are pixies most commonly found? It's, I don't know if this means like a country or like a kind of nature. Right, right, right. I'm going to give it a hint in that regard in that it is a region. Okay. Oh. 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 But see, where is that? I don't know. I, I know you're thinking of the same thing I am. Oh, absolutely. Lockhart? Yeah. Yeah, lock on. Cornish pixies. What is Cornish? Yeah, but what is Cornish? <laughs> Where? <laughs> there is oh, a man. Cornish game hen. Uh -huh. Where is that what? from? At this point, it just comes down to like geography. Yeah, this is just like, <laughs> yes, we don't, just don't know where, cor where, if something's Cornish, where it's from. Where is it from? Nebraska? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that aren't stateside, there's a lot of corn grown there. Lots of it. Yes, yes. Well, this is frustrating. It is frustrating, yeah. I would like to give each other a small pat on the back for at the very least knowing that much. Okay, okay, okay let's right. get the multiple choice. Let's get the multiple choice. Keep it, it obvious. An answer for both of you immediately. Okay, okay. all right, let's do choice. it. Let's do okay. it. Devon, Kent, Surrey, and Cornwall. Derek, have you just trolled us? <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad at you. That would be hilarious. <laughs> it would be Literally, good. like, the, the voice of the show ends up trolling us. Uh, All right, three, two, one. Cornwall. And the answer is Devin. No, uh, Cornwall. <laughs> it is Cornwall. Okay, well, I feel okay about that. I feel like I, I was okay I, I, taking it because we knew Cornish. I know, I know. I think. If I had put something, I was literally going to write Cornish, Me question too. mark. That's exactly what I was going to write. Question eight. What is the most dangerous feature of the Nundu? Man. I feel like this I one I think has... I know this. I, I think I'm pretty confident about this, but it's tricky because it's a really just dangerous thing. It's a really dangerous thing, and I feel like there are certain things about it. I guess it... All right, you just want to turn. We'll talk yeah. about it. Three, two, one. Poisonous breath. It is breath. Yes. Okay. Wow. Yes. Okay, look at that. I was like... Man. This thing is like a nasty giant big cat right, that, that can like, kill you in many ways. Right, like walk silently, is yeah. ferocious. All right, good for us. Way to go. Woo! Question nine. Which species often attempts to tame and ride grap horns? Okay, I gotta remember what a grap horn is. Okay, that's what that, okay, I've got that. It's really... I don't know if I have this right or not. There, there are two things that I think it could be. There was the first one that came to my mind, and then one that makes more sense to me. This is just me going to be guessing, like, an animal <coughs> or, like, a humanoid-shaped beast. Beast. Oh! No, I got it. Every time. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Three, two, one. Trolls. Trolls. The correct answer is trolls! Yes! There it is. Jeez. Man, the, I, I thought trolls immediately, and then I was like, is it giants? Was my oh, was my, ooh, my double sure, down. Sure. I'm not sure giants is even in that book. I don't know that it is. Giants was among the multiple choice. Oh, was man. It? That would have been tricky. That would have tripped yeah. you up. <clears throat> but trolls hit me first. So. Yeah, I was thinking, like, I was thinking too small. I was like, because, like, grap horns are, like, these giant agron looking super beast things. They're, I think they're rather dangerous yeah. themselves. It doesn't seem like the type of thing that like you could just stroll up and be like, even though you don't want me to ride you, I'm gonna do it anyway. No, no. I was like, would this be like imps or something? Uh, yeah. Question 10. Where would you be most likely to spot a thunderbird? This feels easy to me. I'm going to be frustrated if I'm wrong. Let's go. I hope this isn't wrong. All right, now. Three, two, one. I put North America deserts of Arizona. Arizona is correct. Okay. okay. The wilds of Arizona. See, I was almost the just wilds like, of Arizona. I, this is one where I was like, I know it's North America, but then is it like, can I just put desert? Or is it like specifically Arizona? Because the one in the movie was from Arizona, but right. it's like, the desert knows no boundaries. Question 11. <clears throat> Which dragon breed has black scales and purple eyes? Black scales and purple eyes. Oh my gosh, this is... Uh, I... Mm, How many... There are like... This? Are there ten types of dragons? There are ten and random crossbreedings for particularly rare breeds, but that's not what this is. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Like, I know... I can even tell you... Uh, 
That's not the front word. I would I would do the multiple choice because I, I don't want to miss it. Uh, I, I would I would like to take a stab in the dark and be right. Uh, but sure. I'm gonna just change it. It's just a stab in the dark because I think this is the correct. I think. I think. Okay. Let's just go. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one. I said the Romanian black. Oh, that seems right. The correct answer is the Hebridian black. Oh, Hebridian! Yeah, I wasn't gonna remember Hebridian. Yeah, me neither. Uh, That's why it was so hard. Question 12. What noises do puff skeins make when they feel contented? What noises? Uh, this is just the question. Do they I'm make? <laughs> Don't be mad at me. What noises do they make when they feel contented? Yeah, the, 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 the puff skein noise. Do they, how would it, it'd be great if it was like, moo. <laughs> they moo. Very unexpected. Very sound. unexpected. Yeah. They, they bleat like a goat. Yeah. yeah. Bleat. <laughs> what a good word. Ooh. You want to go multiple choice? Sure. Let's okay. go multiple I, choice. I, I don't because... even have a shot in the yeah. dark. All right. All the right. answers are humming, purring, chirping, and squeaking. Okay. There we go. Talking. All right. Let me guess. Three, two, one. I said squeak. I said purr. The correct answer is humming. Oh, it's humming, is it? Well, that's just stupid. Man. I was like... The two words that came to my mind were purring and squeaking, because they seemed like obvious. And then purring seemed like the, uh, like the, the, the bait. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, this is what <laughs> animals do when they're content, they purr. They purr, I know. Choose this one, wary yeah. reader. You know, I think I just discovered that as much as I hate when I'm wrong and you're right, I might hate it more when we're both wrong. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, ugh, we're just dumb. Yes, yes. Question 13. This is a select all that apply. Oh. Which two of these creatures are bred to create the hide behind? Boggart, demiguise, ghoul, troll, banshee, yeti. Okay. Three, two, one. The yeti and the demiguise. I said the, the boggart. The correct answer is the demiguise and a ghoul. Really? Dang! Man, I don't know why I thought yeti was so <clears throat> obvious. I, wrote, I like wrote that down before we even started talking. I knew, well, Interesting. Because <clears throat> it's like... <laughs> they, they, the two creatures came over on like a boat to North America. So, while neither of those things is from North America, the hide behind is because those things bred. And oh, I see, I yeah. see. So oh. it makes it like a product of. Okay. Right. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah. Ghoul and a demiguys. demiguys. Interesting. I, I thought demiguys because of the, well, a characteristic of that creature. And also, then I was. I just thought all the other ones just seemed ridiculous. So I thought maybe it would be like this weird combination with this yeah. fear mongering mm -hmm. creation of spirit and so biology. Should have done that one. That's my description. I feel dumb. Boggart. Okay, let's go. Question 14 Where would you find the world's largest Kelpie? Three, two, one. Scotland. It's Loch Ness. Loch Ness. Yeah. In Scotland. Yeah. And Harry Potter, the Loch Ness Monster, is a Kelpie. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Question 15. What animals do Porlocks guard? I can even tell you what a Porlock is. Nope. Yep, nope. that's not ringing even uh, a bit of a bell. All right. You want to multiple choice it? Let's go Let's for go. it. I can't even tell if this question is like a muggle creature or not. <laughs> right, right. The answers are horses, sheep, deer, and cattle. This is a weird one. It is a weird one. <clears throat> okay. Three, two, one. Said cattle. Said sheep. The correct answer is horses. No. No. Larky. You Malarky. know, I... Okay, so I thought horses are creatures that don't really need protection. That's what I was thinking. I was like, you don't need to guard horses. Maybe, right. Maybe I don't Maybe I wouldn't feel that way if I owned a horse. But. Right. I was trying to... Poor locks. Is there some... Is there any type of, like, etymology related to that word that Not means... Not that I'm familiar with. I, I must have just completely skimmed past that one. About that. Question 16. What color are a hodag's eyes? Eddie. Three, two, one. Red. They are red. <laughs> I was saying ready. I was like, wait. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> red. E. <laughs> Question 17. According to legend, a horned serpent offered which parts of itself as per use as wand cores? This is a weird... Question. The phrasing's interesting. You know, I, I feel like there have become caps that are too hard to get off of markers, yeah. as well as uh, a, a dramatic increase uh, in the number of different types of wand cores from the beginning. Like, there's always been a lot of wand woods, right. but it was unicorn hair, dragon heartstring, 
and Phoenix Feather. Well, that's all Ollivander uses. Right, right. Yeah. So, I mean, it's mostly what we've been introduced to. But I feel like as the new information has been coming, with that has been an enormous amount of new types of... Mm -hmm. But, like, even in Goblet of Fire, um, Floor's wand core was a, a, oh, a, a viola hair. Oh, hair. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Horned Serpent... I mean, I remember this. It's just, I'll let me talk about it. All right, yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. It's horn. Uh, horn shavings, yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's correct in both. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. This is, that said, what parts uh, in the question? So I was like... Yeah, which parts? So I was like, horns shavings, I guess. <clears throat> this is one Isolt Sire who founded Ilvermorny. Yes. Like, they didn't know how they were going to, like, make wands, and she got, like... Like, the horned serpent talked to her in a dream, and she, like, went down to the river, and there was one there, and she, like, shaved its horn and used that for the wands. <sighs> there you go. Fascinating. That's how I remember. But then I was like, that's the only part she took, though, so I... Yeah, okay. Why does it say part suh? I will, I will give you another nod of credit here to... We read, like, the Wizards in North America article probably... Two and a half years ago now. Yep. And the regularity at which you recall information from that, like, 12-page article <laughs> is unbelievable. I tell you. Question 18. Which winged horse can be identified by its chestnut-colored coat? This is one, like the dragons, where, like, a bunch of things fall into the same category. Of winged horses. Of winged horses. <sighs> yeah. And you know it? I just have a guess. I don't really know if it's correct or not. I'd go multiple choice, but... I would go multiple choice. All right, let's hear him. Let's hear him, Derek. The answers are Thestral, Granian, Abraxan, Athonan. Okay, I like this answer. I'm, I'm okay with it. I have some reasoning, at least. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Oh, D. Yeah, one with C. The correct right. answer is Athonan. Yeah! Okay, I really... So... Definitely wasn't Thestral, because that's not the thing that would identify them. The Abraxan are what Madame Maxime uses, so the identifying factor would be the six legs. Yeah. And then this one, I had written down Pegasus ahead of time, and this just sounded like Athens. So I went with that. Uh, <laughs> sure. That, I actually like that reasoning. Question 19. The Snellagaster is a distant relative of which other beast? Gosh, I feel like what happened was we had 15 minutes to review this book, and I got through the first 20 pages of it. <laughs> and now I'm starting now, to hear the words and I'm like, like, yeah, what? Like, what is this? this is interesting because it was originally mistaken to be descendant of something else. And then they eventually realized it was this. So I think I've got it. Okay, three, two, one. Alchemy. Basilisk. The correct answer is Alchemy. Woo! Of course it is. Yeah! The other, they originally thought it was a dragon, but it's not. I'm taking a bad turn, too. <laughs> <laughs> Question 20. Which pest is said to be responsible for malfunctioning mobile appliances? Uh, I think if I heard it, I would know what it was. All right, let's hear them. Let's hear them. The answers are Nifflers, Chizperfles, Bundemons, Dugbogs. Okay, all right. Three, two, one. Chizperfle! C. The correct answer is... Chisperful. Yeah! <laughs> Dang! I That's totally... like, a, like an amoeba thing at <clears throat> the, whatever it is. Man, I would like to know what I what I missed up. Question 21. Which spell must be cast on a fooper before it can be sold? Whenever you're ready, bro. <clears throat> oh, I've never been so frustrated. While well, Ben thinks, <laughs> let me draw your attention to these lovely mugs we're drinking out of. Available now at carlinbrotherscoffee.com. Thanks for that. I, I honestly, I really don't know. What is it? Three, two, one. The silencing. Silencing. Yeah. The correct answer is a silencing charm. Yep. There you go. Because the uh, <coughs> the song, yeah. if it, while pleasant at first, will eventually drive you insane. I am going to go ahead and say that I think that you might have had more time with this book than I had. We had the same amount of time. <laughs> Maybe I think in the course of researching other Fantastic Beasts videos, I've spent a lot more time with the book, though. Is what I think is happening. Question 22. 
How many baby nifflers are normally found in a litter? And I'm gonna give you the answers. Two to four, four to six, six to eight, or eight to 10. Three, two, one. I said A, I said four to six. The correct answer is six to eight. Six to eight? I feel like, I feel like that's, uh... I got the first 10 right, and I'm at a score of 13 <laughs> presently. <laughs> means things have gone drastically downhill, as per always. As per always? You, no, not always. Not always. I would say that a statistical analysis of J versus Ben's would show a drastic drop-off in correct answers between questions 15 and 30. Well, maybe someone out there can run the data on that. That would be, be amazing! Super interesting to show eventually. Yes, it would. We yeah. need like a complete breakdown, an infographic, if you will. <laughs> also, of all I feel Jay like Benz. having seen the movie that they did a poor representation of the number of nifflers in a single litter. Yeah. I would agree with you. Because that's what I base my answer on. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Whatever. It's like, we, we've literally seen it. Yeah. That's not spoiler right off. No. Worry. Question 23. What is a Doug Boggs favorite food? What's a Doug Boggs favorite food? Uh... uh I don't know. Oh, do you have an answer? I do. Oh my gosh, do you know it? No, oh, no. I do know it. Oh man. Oh man. I'm gonna, uh, now I just have to guess, because obviously we're not going to get multiple choice. It doesn't matter. We all here in this room know that you will remember it between now and the time that we answer. We're all frustrated. Uh, I only, no, I don't, I have no idea. I just have some rationale to a guess, but I don't think it's right. But anyway. Okay, just three, go. two. Oh, I hope I'm right. Oh, it's gonna, <laughs> this is gonna hurt really bad. Yeah. Three, two, one. What'd you write? Mandrakes. I write a grindy low. The correct answer is mandrakes. Woo, well done. <laughs> I, all I remembered about Doug Box is I think they look like a log. Is that right? I don't know. <clears throat> and I was like, it has to be something in the water. And that's about all I did. Question 24. How long do hippogriff eggs take to hatch? Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you why I don't know this. Because I got to the section on hippogriffs and was like, I know pretty much everything I think I need to know about hippogriffs. There is <laughs> one named Buck. Yeah. <laughs> I was like S saved a man on a tower once. They get so much attention in the books that I was like, I don't want to waste time reading about them right now. But obviously, that was not a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. How long? Let's just hear it. Yeah. Let's hear the multiple. The choice. multiple choice are a week, a day, a month, a year. A week, a day, a month, a year. <laughs> oh my guys, God. I basically got all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do we get credit for just guessing that? I actually kind of love that we that this that this panned out in this yeah. manner. Yeah. Well, are you ready? Uh, sure. Three, two, one. I said a year. I said a year as well. The correct answer is a day. No! They hatch in a day? Fascinating! They a day. That, they seem like way too big and like majestic to like have such a rapid... I agree. I was using way too much logic here. This is, no. No, no. You're not using too much logic because if they can hatch in a day, how long does it take them to be fully grown? They should be like house flies. They should be like everywhere, hippogriffs. Hippogriffs. Oh man. Got a big hippogriff I don't think... infestation in my closet. Yeah. Question 25. This is a select all that apply. What magical powers are thought to be possessed by the wampus cat? Invisibility, hypnosis, legitimacy, premonition, and flight. Man. Were there two that you knew weren't right because you know they apply to something else? Um... It seemed like you just made two strikes on your board. I was asking if that's what it was. Oh, I thought I circled one as I thought was right and one that definitely wasn't. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. I said A and D, or I invisibility said... and premonition. Oh, those were literally the two I struck out first oh. um, because they are characteristics of a demigod. Yep. Um, I put B and C because they seemed like they went together and flight seemed to not <laughs> yeah. go with anything. Yeah, why would this cat? The do? correct answer is hypnosis and legitimacy. Oh, man. Yes. Man. Yes. See, legitimacy and premonition kind of felt like it, yeah. pretty similar. Or like they could somehow be mistaken for one another. Right, but <clears throat> not, okay, whatever. I, just good job. That was well done. I had no idea. Question 26. What is the name given to a baby hippocampus? Yeah, we can totally go multiple yeah, choice because I haven't even looked at my board because I don't have the slightest clue. Okay, yeah. 
All right, the answers are Tadful, Hippocaf, Pygmy Hippo, and Hippo Kinder. These are clever. <coughs> I have a guess. Yeah, me too. Three, two, one. I said B. I said B as well! The correct answer Success is and failure. Tadful. Oh, it's like so almost <laughs> freaking. I was like, it's. I'm gonna pick B because A seems too clever. It's really But it clever. isn't. Oh my gosh. So Tadful. hippocampuses, I believe, are just like seahorses, but if you actually had like a seahorse. <clears throat> you know what? I think that is part of the other reason why it sounded so familiar to me because I've literally raised seahorses before that mm -hmm. are like Hippocampus erectus. Oh, there you go. Oh, and okay. Man, that's like two completely different parts <coughs> of my brain right. that did not know to talk to each other, right. which is ironic because of what the actual Hippocampus <laughs> in the brain is. Yeah, that's hilarious. Wow. In Man, that worked on like a thousand different ways. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, I used to own an aquarium business. And, Tadful. Yeah. Man, that's very clever. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very good. good. It yeah. is. It is indeed. So was Hippocalf. I thought that was pretty good too. Calves are not, I guess, well, you wouldn't call like a young horse a calf, though. No. That's probably the, I should have thought about that harder. Dang it. Anyway. Question 27. On which island is the Quintiped, or Harry McBoon, found? Man. I feel like I just exhibited out loud stunned silence. Like, I am pretty sure I've got this right. Like, go back and watch my stunned silence just now. You could hear it. You can. If you turn the volume up. All right. Take a random guess at the name of an island. Yes. Three, two, one. I'm pretty sure it's called the Isle of Drear. The correct answer is the Isle of Drear. Yay! And not Ireland. No. It's <laughs> off of Scotland. Oh, well. <coughs> It seems like some place where it is is so known to be so rainy that there could be a place called the Isle of Drear. Right. Right. Yeah. Question twenty-eight. What is the main diet of a phoenix? I don't think this is right. We'll see. I don't know. Do you know? No. Okay. No. Right. Definitely cool. not. Three, two, one. I said Ashwinders. I said oh, Ashwinder eggs. Wow. That you both guessed the wrong answer. Oh. It is weird. Well, the, so anyway, go on. The correct answer is. Herbs, or if you prefer, herbs. Uh, but it's so interesting that you both said Ashwander. But they're well, they're sort of like um, they're born of magical, of magical flame. fire. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, yeah, it seemed like, like yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, okay, I don't feel bad about that. No, me either. Yeah, me no. either. I, I like the fact that we were on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, does the Dumbledore have a constant magic fire producing dangerous snakes in the school to feed his bird? Like Probably. Like, yeah, probably. Yeah, no, that no seems, you know what? That does sound like Dumbledore. That seems exactly right. What was really, dangerous? Whatever. What's really funny about that, though, is I wrote down my word, and you must have been doing it at the same time, and you go, yep, that's what I'm going with. And I, I thought you had read mine, and you were just, like, agreeing that you had the same answer, and I was like, oh, no, that's ridiculous. You wouldn't say that. And we literally had the same answer. That's funny. Okay. Question 29. What feeling does a pogrobin induce in its victims? I hate when I don't even know I what know. it is. I've never even heard of a pogrobin. I've never heard of it. I don't know what it is. What feeling <laughs> does a pogrobin induce yeah. pogrobin. in its victims? You want to know how, um. how to know whether or not I'm going to know is if anything basically is after the letter L, I didn't get that far you in get my that far the book. There you go. So, starts with a P. Comes after L. All right, I have a. I just have a guess because <coughs> at this point it's just like who cares about Paul Griffins? Oh no, I know. I agree. Three, two, one. I said euphoria. I said the giggles. <laughs> the giggles. The correct answer is despair, which is a lot like the opposite of both of us. Oh. <laughs> See, that's not a good strategy. If you're a creature, you want to like lure them in to like. Yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> I have the giggles. Yes. The giggles is definitely the opposite of despair. It is. It is. Once again, I feel like we pretty much have the same answer. Right well, because that like that makes to me sense. Like, like oh, you think you're safe, but actually you're dying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like such a Harry Potter world type of thing. Actually, even well, uh, never mind. Okay, we'll carry right, on. Yeah, what should be the answer to this one? Question thirty: Which is the only species of little people able to speak to humans? Uh, well, I'm gonna put this but I have arguments. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Puckwudgie. Uh, the correct answer is leprechaun. That is stupid and oh. also inaccurate. Uh, what'd you put? Gnomes? gnomes? Yeah, because one, gnomes can swear. Right. Right? They say that in Chamber of Favorites. Uh, also, Puckwudgie is like a little person thing, and they name one William and name a house after it at Overmorning, so I think that's a dumb question. I don't think it should count. 
So what are the other one too? Like whatever. even goblins are. Yeah, even goblins. I don't know. I don't know. If I guess. I guess maybe that one needed the uh, the multiple choice. What were the options? Uh, imps, fairies, leprechaun, and doxy. And the answer was what? Leprechaun. Leprechaun. Yeah, I'm not. I pleased guess. Yeah, with I'm that. not pleased with that answer. Yeah. That was bad. I don't think it's a you bad know, question. And just as a as a big note to Pottermore, I feel like you need to end these quizzes on like a really fun question. Not one that infuriates to where you want to throw all the gnomes over the garden wall. Yeah, so what was your score? 15? 15! I had to, I think 19 if I was keeping track correctly, which frequently I'm not, but... Whatever. Shoot! There you go. I'm actually, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm kind of proud of 15. <laughs> of 15? Yeah, like, like I, I really yeah. didn't think that I was going to be able to pull that many out of it. Did, did we started out pretty strong. <coughs> we did, 10 out yeah. of 10, I think. Yeah, yeah. The first question. That was question. pretty solid. That By was the end, exciting. it was getting pretty difficult. Although a lot of times I felt like we sort of knew, but like it wasn't, I don't know, it was, it was close. Right, right. Yeah. It's a weird one, though, because this is like, you're entering into an area of fandom that goes beyond enjoying the books, but actually studying its right. world That's in the a thing. way that like, doesn't affect you the You could not know most, pretty much any of these if you haven't read the book. Right. Like, reading the Harry Potter books does not prepare you for this quiz. Right, right, right. not at all. Yeah. So there's, there's a certain element of, like, I don't want to say that it's useless knowledge, but it's like, you are literally cramming and storing information about mythical creatures that so far have not affected anything along the major storyline yet. Right, yes, that's exactly what's happening. Guys, if you guys were playing along at home with us, how did you do? Did you have answers? Were you doing it all from memory, just like us? Uh, be sure to leave all of your scores in the towel section down below. Also, after seeing the crimes of Grindelwald, be sure to let us know what your favorite beast from that installment was. I think for me, it was the the Zowu. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Zowu because it's pretty cool. It's, it's if you haven't seen cool. it yet, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. So let us yes. know what your favorite one was in the towel section down below and just what you thought of the movie in general. But guys, again, thank you so much for watching. You may have noticed throughout the video that we've been drinking from our Carlin Brother Coffee Carlin Brothers Coffee Mugs, mm -hmm. I know the name of our own company, uh, which is now shipping. So if you would like to check it out, be sure to check the link in the description down below. But that's all we've got for you today. We will see you next time. Bye.